What's up guys? It's your girl Eddie Elise and I'm back with another video. For those of you guys who are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do and that I post. Guys, I didn't post on Saturday because if you guys don't know, I had my webinar released on Saturday and that webinar went over how to grow your Instagram following. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Eddie Elise, so make sure you're on there because I'm very active on Instagram. But yeah, I decided to make a webinar on how to grow your Instagram following because just last year I was at 2,000 followers and those were like my friends and family and you know, friends of friends and stuff like that. And this year, one year later, I'm at almost 63,000 followers on Instagram and everybody has been saying, well, Eddie, how did you shoot up so fast? How did you grow your amazing supporters to the way they are now or whatever? And I decided to just answer everybody's question and give my eight step guide on how you can achieve growth on Instagram like I did. So if you're interested in that, you can hop right over to www.eddielise.com and just click the webinars tab. It'll be there. Don't worry about it. It'll be in the description down below. Also, let's get in tune with this hair. Can you tell I'm like summer ready by this outfit? Like I walked outside today and it was 66 degrees and I'm so ready for summer to be here. So I decided to pop on blonde, honey. I'm blonde. I heard blondes like have more fun or something and I'm kind of like having more fun. <laughs> Anyways, I got this unit from Chocolate Extensions on Instagram. You can go to www.chocolateextensions.com. Again, it'll be in the description. Shout out to Chocolate Extensions for always coming through with the best hair, okay? Alrighty guys. Anyways, as you guys can see by today's title, we are doing a vision board and you guys are probably like, um, that's a little weird. You guys are probably used to seeing vision boards usually done like a little before January for the new year, just in time for the new year so that we can plan out all of our goals for the new year, right? Now, we're doing it today, okay? And I wanna do it because we are all quarantined. We are all, like the whole entire globe basically is going through this pandemic everybody in the world practically is quarantined we're all inside life has legit stopped and we have been inside for weeks now we have been social distancing we've been to ourselves in our own thoughts and a lot of you guys inevitably including myself are reevaluating re life reevaluating yourself subconsciously and consciously you're doing it so my thing is, I wanted to say, you know what, everybody let's join the movement of creating a vision board so that when COVID is over and when outside opens up, because I have faith that it will soon, we have our vision board. We have what we want to accomplish for the rest of 2020 because 2020, honey, is not ruined. I repeat, 2020 is not ruined. I will not let it be ruined. We all have to stay super duper positive. So with that being said, we are creating a vision board. And on top of that, it's not just going to be any vision board. I know some people just have vision boards on like posters and stuff like that. We are making like a really cute picture frame that we could actually hang up. Okay. I really wanted to do this. I got this idea from Erin On Demand. So Erin On Demand, shout out to you because her vision board was amazing okay and it really made me say well i always wanted to do a vision board but like i want it to be pretty and i want to hang it up so shout out to her she gave me this idea creating a effective vision board okay it's important to really get in tune with what you want and put details and be realistic guys i'm not going to put on my vision board i want a brand new spanking house when in reality I'm not even buying houses at this time. Like in the next year, I won't be looking for my forever home. Um, I'm not at that aspect in life, you know? I'm not gonna say I want a million dollar car or whatever when realistically, like we have to be realistic, okay? That's the key to vision boards is being realistic. We have about eight more months left of 2020 and yeah. So also base your 
vision board for this year off of one word, okay? And I decided to have my word growth because that's really what I want to tune into this year. This year, I wanted it to be about growth and it will absolutely be about growth, COVID-19 or not. Growth for me will be inevitable, but you could have um, gratitude on yours. You could have love. Um, you could have really anything, any one word that really describes what you want your year to be based around, okay? So yeah, but yeah, let's just get into exactly how I made my vision board and then I'll come back and show you guys and tell you guys exactly what my vision board means and stuff like that, okay? All right, so I'll see you in a bit. So as you guys can see, this right here is my vision board. This is the finished product and I cannot be more happy, okay? So let's explain what exactly is on this board, okay? So we have me in the center and I have my phone and I'm like shocked because there's a thousand new um, followers and this is actually my webinar thumbnail, but that just, I of course, this just represents me wanting to build my family on Instagram. Um, that is one of my biggest goals this year to really build my family because I love all my supporters and it's just a blessing in disguise. And the more supporters I have, just the more accomplished I feel because I am a content creator. And then that just goes to show up here is my little Instagram 
top where it shows you how many posts somebody has or how many like I mean, yeah how many posts or followers are following and I inserted 150k because I want to be really really specific and that's the key to having a vision board to be really specific okay in order for your vision board to be effective you have to be as specific as you can be so I want to end this year with 150,000 Instagram supporters and talking about social media supporters I also put right here 20k subscribers because I want to end 2020 with 20k subscribers on freaking YouTube okay that would be amazing to me and then I also have right here a BMW and I decided this year I want to treat myself to a new car that is my goal this year um, if you guys don't know I've been driving my old beat up 2003 Nissan Maxima because I just didn't care for a car I didn't really think I needed a car Oh, you know I just it got me from point A to point B and I was content and I feel like now is when I want to treat myself I've been working overtime I've been really putting in so much work so I want to treat myself this year so by the end of 2020 I want to have a BMW and then right on top of here it says sales overview 50 shades NYC year to date revenue 20,000 units sold 300 and orders I cut it off but this is just a screen grab of the insights of 50 shades and that just means what this basically means is that I want my sales to to skyrocket this year so yeah so 50 shades I really want 50 shades to increase I want more supporters on 50 shades and I really want my sales to increase this year then here we have a guy's back of his shirt that says Eddie Elise world domination is just like a graphic and oh my gosh ah, oh my gosh you guys can't see that I have merch dropping and actually you guys are the first to see one of the shirts this is actually the graphic for one of the shirts and that is my goal for this year by the end of this year to really put out a collection and really come out with merch because you guys have been asking for me to have a clothing line and I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's so exciting. But yeah, that is my goal to put out merch, merch, merch. So that's why I put that there. And then we have my fave girl, Tezza, right here. And for me, what she represents is quality. And I want to really tune into my quality content. I really want to tap into that like I know for a fact I love content creation but what's missing for me is a little bit of quality and I've been working on it recently but I really want to focus and grow my quality for you guys I want to grow my quality on YouTube my quality on Instagram and really level up my content creation so that's why I have Tezza and if you guys don't know Tezza go check her out on Instagram she literally cannot do any wrong she is amazing at what she does so next in the middle we have growth because of course that's my word of this year then we have over here on this side <laughs> do you guys know who this is comment down below if you know if you off bat know who this is well this is Aaliyah J and it's a picture of Aaliyah J and on her eyes it's crossed out and it has the 50 shades logo my goal for this year is to get 50 shades on Aaliyah J Aaliyah J is my fave person ever. She's so humble. She's a vibe. Okay, she's from New York and I love her. So I got my pair of shades on India Love this year. And my next person that I would love to have 50 shades on is Aaliyah J. So then next we have here in the corner, it's like an apartment. It's like a little loft. And that is also my goal for this year, by the end of this year. I want my own apartment. Yeah, it pretty much says itself. I really enjoy living by myself. Back in Miami, I did live by myself. It's a whole different ball game and I just want some a place to call my own. So that is on one of my priority list this year. And then here we have Fashion Nova, Kith and Goat. 
So these are the three main partnerships, sponsorships that I want to achieve this year. I did work with GOAT already this year, which is pretty amazing, but I want to continue that partnership and um, relationship with them. So yeah, I want an ongoing relationship and partnership with GOAT. And then for Kith, I really want to work with Kith because I love, I just love Kith, okay? That would be a dream if I can work with Kith. And then Fashion Nova, I work with Pretty Little Thing and it's been amazing. And I know like I just want to work with Fashion Nova. I want to be a Fashion Nova partner. And I think that's totally achievable this year. So I just have to really put in that work to get a partnership with Fashion Nova. And yeah that is my mood board and as you guys can see it's super freaking cute i'm gonna hang it up on my wall but guys the goal of this is to be realistic i didn't go crazy on here i really left it short sweet and simple because we do have eight months eight or seven months left of this year and i really want to focus on i'll show you guys i really want to focus on quality and my clothing line so that's going to consume a lot of my time and if i focus on quality then realistically everything else kind of coincides and increases as well as my quality increases everything else will increase so it's all thought through i didn't go crazy because i really want to work on these two aspects of my clothing line and my quality so that i can just grow this year so anyways, I hope that helped you guys. I really hope, hope, hope you guys like that. And comment down below if you're going to do this. Oh, not only comment down below, but I want you to make your own vision board. I really, you, we're all doing nothing, okay? Please make your own vision board and tag me on Instagram to get featured in my next video, okay? So all you have to do is just upload your vision board and at Eddie Elise. And then, yeah, you'll get, I'll pick one person to get shouted out next video. Okay. Bye guys. Love you guys all. Thank you guys so much for supporting. And I cannot wait to achieve all of this with your help. So yeah. Bye.